Welcome to chapter three. In this chapter, I want to discuss 8-bit, uh, which is the second model included in the uh, NXT 1.0 soundware package. So 8-bit uh, has that name because I feel like it can create lots of uh, uh, computer sounding noises and, and, and other things too. I mean, it can be useful for in a lot of different contexts. And, and as I step through the presets, I think that'll become clear. So let me go ahead and play through the presets real quick so you can get a, an idea of what 8-bit sounds like. So this is 8-bit organ one. Okay, this is sound effect one. Sound effect two. Here's synth one. Here's synth two. Here's synth three. Synth four. Synth five. Synth six. Synth seven. And that's it for the presets. So let's go ahead and go back down here to organ one and we'll hit the edit button and I'm going to show you now uh, the DSP. So uh, this is a two layer sound and it actually has uh, the same layer duplicated twice only the second layer, layer two, is tuned an octave below the first layer. Okay so this is a very simple uh, sound. There's actually only one oscillator in here, the saw plus oscillator. Okay and how this works is we have a PW mod block first Okay, this does not have any signal coming into it. it. Note that it's wired to this alt input and alt input is set to none. So this has no signal coming into it. What it does in that instance is create basically a DC offset or it outputs a constant DC signal. And then with this gain control, we can control how much of that DC signal is added to saw plus here. And then that goes through wrap. So with the saw plus going through wrap and that DC offset, that's going to take that sawtooth wave and essentially move it up. Uh, if, if you were looking at a plot of the wave, as you turn up the gain, it'll move it up like this. And so uh, with wrap, which will wrap the top of the waveform down uh, for, for any part of the waveform that would clip, uh, that, that can help create sounds that uh, you can't just get by, say for instance, doing a saw, gain, and wrap, or just doing saw and wrap together. So let me show you now um, how this works and how you can make sounds with this using the sliders. Welcome to part two. So in this part, I'm going to talk about how to use the sliders to program sounds with 8-bit. So first of all, let me just go over what the sliders do and, and the mod wheel and switch button, what they're assigned to and, and, and so forth. So first of all, I've zeroed out all the sliders already. Uh, so everything's... Um, all the values are at zero, and this is the sort of like you could consider this the basic sound of 8-bit. This is what it sounds like. Because it has that saw plus block in it, and so that's your main oscillator. Okay, so first of all, slider A controls uh, the gain of the of um, the output of PW mod. So, so this more or less controls DC offset. So let me sweep uh, slider A all the way through its range while I play C4. Okay, so you can hear there that uh, with slider A all the way down, you have kind of a weak signal. As it kicks in, the signal gets a lot stronger. Uh, as, as the uh, waveform is wrapping, it reinforces itself and so, so creates um, that, that um, sort of jump in volume. That's something to be aware of, of course, when you're programming. Uh, using this. There's, there's a reason why I left these quiet parts at um, either end of the travel of the slider, and I'll explain that in a second. But anyway, so you can already get some pretty fat sounds out of this just with slider A. Okay, so now slider B controls 
the wrap amount. So let me sweep that while I play C4. So you can get some extreme sounds out of that with extreme settings, but you can also get some more subtle stuff. For instance, let me put it up about here. And then let's add some slider A. Sliders A and B uh, interact very well with each other, and, and when you're working on a sound using 8-bit, uh, these are the two that you're probably going to play with the most. So you can get a wide uh, range of sounds that are, that are very reedy and very hollow, but also very full with, um, with lots of um, fundamental to them. Okay, so slider C and D control um, LFO. So uh, this is this is LFO speed. You're not going to hear it right now because it's not assigned to anything. Slider D will assign that LFO to uh, essentially control this this um, this DC level. So let me put this on. Okay, I've got slider C up fairly high, so that means the LFO is going to be pretty fast. So let me turn up slider D as I play. Okay, so essentially slider A is going up and down really fast. That's the, you could think of it that way as far as what this does. So you can have some very slow kind of motion going on. Uh, now, one thing to note with this is that slider D also controls the amount of aftertouch that's being fed into A. So not only do I can I control uh, using an LFO, can I control how this sweeps, but if I apply aftertouch. Let me turn it down just a little. You can hear it uh, sort of switching in and out there as I'm pressing down on the key. So, so D controls both the amount of LFO and the amount of aftertouch that's being fed into the signal. Okay, so sliders E and F. Um, they are, uh, e, excuse me, uh, let's say sliders F, G, and H are your envelope control. Slider E is your pitch control. So E will take the pitch up one octave. Um, so for instance, I do that and then I can go up one octave. This is particularly useful with the mod wheel. So what the mod wheel does is the mod wheel brings in a sub oscillator. So here's, you know, this nice low note. So that's going to bring in a note an octave below the fundamental. So now, if I raise the pitch, those two uh, oscillators stay locked to each other, so they're always an octave apart. This is just useful if you are um, so one of the things with rap is rap can change uh, the pitch of the sound that you're playing with uh, quite a bit. And I'll show you some uh, examples of how to use that creatively in just a moment. But um, so, so, so slider E can be used to both correct pitch, but it can also be used uh, if you want to say like have a lead sound or if you just want to do a a big slide like that in the middle of a, uh, of a performance. Okay, so F, G, and H are your uh, uh, envelope controls. So F is attack. Slow attack with it up. 
fast attack with it down. G is decay. There is no decay with the slider all the way down. With the slider all the way up, you have the maximum amount of decay. And H is release. Now let me show you what the uh, SW button does. SW adds 12 uh, dBs of what's called impact to the start of the envelope. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll zero out all of the sliders here. Make sure everything's at zero. Okay, no sub oscillator. And let me dial in a bass sound real quick with SW off. Okay, you can hear that sound. Now let me turn on the SW button. You can hear that. It essentially adds a very percussive attack to the front end of an envelope. So that can be useful if you want like a very percussive bass sound. If you want to play, say, very staccato and uh, you want to add a real a, a bit of oomph to that bass sound. Okay, so let's talk about how to use these creatively then for synthesis. Now I played um, several sounds uh, that are included in the presets that are sound effects and a lot of those are programmed by using a fair amount of LFO. So for instance putting this amount all the way up, turning up the, the speed or controlling the speed a bit, and then adding different kinds of uh, wave shaping with rap. So you hear that, that's kind of a your sort of basic arcade kind of sound. So by, by changing slider B and adding in extreme amounts of rap no pun intended, you get lots of noise. Full disclosure, I'm a big hip-hop fan. That's, that's not intended as a joke, uh, a slam on, on rap music. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's bring this down. So you can get lots of sort of arcade bleeps and bloops and everything else. Hence the name of this as 8-bit. So let me throw in the sub off. They're nice, meaty sort of uh, bleeps and bloops. If you want to do more synth-oriented sounds, you'll probably want to play mainly with A and B and put in just a bit of slow LFO. You know, maybe knock this up, put in the uh, sub-oscillator. Uh, so that you can have a, uh, uh, a, a much meatier sound, because... There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. So let's take out that low. Let's add it back in with the mod wheel. There we go. That's a nice sound. Okay, so that's a basic overview of how to use the sliders and how to make your own sounds using 8-bit. In Chapter 4, we're going to discuss the next model in line, which is called Form.